Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of two equations with two variables by using a method called Kramer's rule. Before we go any further, I just want you to look at these two equations and we want to make sure that a couple of things are being satisfied. So the very first thing that we keep in mind that all these x's are nicely lined up, y's are nicely lined up as well, and the numbers on the right hand side. I put in a different kind of color, red color. I did it for purpose and I'll tell you later on. And over here, make sure if there's any coefficient is missing, put down like y was there. So I put down one times why so now let's go ahead and get started okay so we want to solve this system means that we are looking for unknown variables what are our variables that we are looking for we want to solve this thing means we want to solve for x and y isn't it that means we are looking for x value and we are looking for y value so here we're gonna play a small kind of game okay go ahead let's get started i want you to put down x right up here i want you to put one box on the top and one box on the bottom likewise i want you to put for y same thing put one box on the bottom on the top and one on the bottom and by the way these boxes are called determinants are simply determinant just keep in your mind they have a special name determinant now next step i want you to just go uh, see over here i we want to fill out these determinants are these boxes look at these coefficients on the left hand side two one 3 and negative 5 whatever these numbers are I want you to put in the bottom determinants in the same order so you're gonna have 2 1 3 negative 5 same numbers on the the next bottom same thing same numbers 2 1 3 negative 5 so far so good the next thing i want you to look at these red numbers in the red i want you to put in in the first for x is going to be first column so negative 1 and negative 21 and for y it shifts to the negative uh, the next column negative 1 and negative 21 so far so good now we need to fill out this second column look at the numbers right underneath this column what are the numbers below this empty column this is one negative five i want you to push these numbers up copy and paste so those are going to be same number one negative five and likewise over here for this empty column to be filled out look at the numbers below which is two and three push them up or simply copy and paste this become two and three so we have nicely set up these x and y these boxes now we're going to find the value of these determinants and here i have put down this top determinant right up here i'm gonna find the value or evaluate it so let me show you really super easy method i want you to cross multiply this way all right negative one times negative five is gonna be positive five and after that one always always put down a minus sign okay and then i want you to cross multiply the other way around so 1 times negative 21 equals to negative 21 do you see that one now when you have a two negative each other they become positive so we got 5 plus 21 equal to 26 so the value of this top determinant this value turns out to be 20 six all right so far so good and now we're gonna find the value of this bottom determinant and now here is the bottom determinant as you can see let's go ahead and evaluate this one 
we're going to do the same thing, same way we did before, exactly same way. 2 times negative 5 is a negative 10. And right after that one, I want you to put a minus takeaway sign, minus. And then I want you to multiply the other, cross multiply the other way around. What we are doing is we are crisscrossing. So 1 times 3 is 3. That is going to give us negative 13. So our the determinant of the bottom one turns out to be negative 13. Now you can see the bottom determinants are same. So we don't have to do the bottom determinant all over again. We got the value. So this has a value negative 13 as well. And now we're going to find the value of this top determinant for y variable that I put it down over here, copy it down. And let's do exactly the way, same way as we did before, crisscross. Let's go first this way. 2 times negative 21 is negative 42. Once again, as I told you before, I want you to put a minus or take away sign and then multiply the other way around that is going to be negative 3 isn't it so negative 3 so let's simplify that one so negative 42 negative and negative they're next to each other become positive plus 3 if you simplify that becomes negative 30 9. So the value of this one turns out to be negative 39. So if you simplify or reduce, this turns out to be simply negative 2 over here. And this turns out to be value of y is 3. Thus, our solution turns out to be negative 2 comma 3. Negative 2 is your x value and 3 is your y value. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.